my videos. This one is for to help you out with con um, dividing multi-digit numbers. This one we'll be using the standard algorithm, so we practice using the standard algorithm. Um, the things we're going to concentrate on to make this successful today is setting up the problem correctly, performing the steps um, in the standard division algorithm correctly, and checking um, your work using either estimation or multiplication is what we're going to be working with. So let's go ahead and go on to the first problem. Our first problem, we end up with 9,497 9, sorry, 497 divided by 16. So let's just look at this. If this was 10 going into 9,000, we know that would be about 900. So we know our answer is going to be less than that. And if it was 20 going into 800, or 8,000, sorry, then we know our answer would be about 400. So we know our answer is going to be between 900 and 400. We can just kind of use that as an estimation. If we think about that, just a quick estimation to kind of get an idea of what our answer is. Now, if we're setting these up in our standard algorithm, the key is the number that comes first when it's written this way is always the one that goes in the box or underneath our standard algorithm symbol. So we have 9,497. That's what goes underneath here. And then 16 goes out front. And then when we start working through our algorithm, we just start moving across. 16 is what we're trying to figure out. And it won't go into 9, so we go right to 94. Then we start making some estimates. Um, we already decided that it would be 900 and 400 would be an estimate. So we can try some numbers. Let's try, uh, I'm just going to try 6. So 16 times 6. Um, just to get an idea, 6 times 6 is 36. Put down 6, carry the 3. 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 3 is 9. Oh, so that's a little bit high, a um, little bit high, a little bit over. So 16 times 5 is what we're looking for. Um, 5 times 6 is 30, um, and then 5, so we end up with 80. Okay, so it's going to be... Five, and that's really 500. We put it above the, because we're really not looking at how many times it goes into 94. It's really 9,400 is how many times it goes in. So that's really 500 we're talking about. But our algorithm, we just concentrate on the 94. So 5 times 16, we already figured out was 80. So we'll subtract that down. We end up with 4. One, now we drop down our other nine. Um, so now we got to figure it out. In, that's really close. If I times it by 10, we'd end up with 160. So that's, I'm going to try eight because it's probably a few off from that. A couple of 16s off from that, I would think. So eight times six is. 48 and four, 8 times 1 is 8 plus the 4 is 12. Um, that's going to be too much, so we need to go by 9, don't we? So 9, 9 times 6 is, I know, 10 times. Um, 6 is 60, so 6 less than 60 would be 54. Put down the 4, carry the 5. Um, then that would be 9 times 1, plus the 5 would be um, 14. Okay, so we have 9 right here. So that ends up being 144. Subtract that down. We end up with... Five, bring down our seven, 
So we have how many times 16 going to 57? Um, we know it's going to be less than 5. So let's try 3, maybe. Um, 16 times 3. So that's going to give us 8. 54, 48. And that's going to be what we need, isn't it? So 48. Minus that down. So that's going to end up being 9, isn't it? Okay. So on these, you're going to be entering, we have a remainder. Later on, we're going to be dividing these out and continue to divide them out to find a decimal. But in this activity, you're going to be entering them in. So it goes in 593 times, and it has a remainder of 9. So that's the way you'll enter those in in con, is you'll have a box like this, and you enter them in 593 which is the number up here, and then remainder is what goes in there. So that's the way you enter these in when you go into con. So that's the way you enter those in. Okay, if you think you got it, on a, likewise, when you're going through these, always pause them and try the problem before if you want, and see if you can get it on your own. Let's go ahead and look at the next one here. So close this out, go to the next one. So with this one we have um, 3,041 divided by 63. And if I'm just looking at that, thinking about this, um, I know that 50 times... 60 would roughly give me, um, would give me, would give me the 3,000. So I know my answer is going to be close to 50. So let's go ahead. Again, remember the number out front is the one that always goes in. So the number out front is always the one that goes in our division. So we have 3,000. 41 and 63. Now let's take a look at this. If I just, I know, okay, it won't go in the 63, won't go into 3, it won't go into 30. So we have to go curl over here to 304 is what we're looking at. Um, if I just look at the first numbers, that's going to go in there 6 and 6 would go into 35 times, but that would be too big, so let's try it by 4. So six time, 63 times 4 um, is going to be 12. So 4 times 6 is 24. So that would give us um, 25. So... 250, so put a 4 here, 252, subtract that down, we end up with 2, a borrow, so that becomes a 2, do that there, so we end up with 52. Got to bring down our one. Now, if I'm just looking at this, that's almost double what we just did, isn't it? If I double 25, I end up with 50. So I'm going to times um, 63 by 8. So 8 times 3 is 24. Put down the 4. Carry the... 2, 8 times 6 is 48, put down 50, so, yep, that's going to work there, so it's going to go in there 8 times, and we end up with 5, 0, 4, track that down, um, so we got to borrow here, 
So that is seven, and that becomes a one. So we end up with just 17 left over. Okay, so we end up with that again. So remember on these, you'll be putting them into the, so this would be 48 and the remainder of 17. So you'll be putting those in there that way. I'm going to go ahead and stop there. If you, oh, actually, I got one more quick one we'll go over, okay? So if you have any questions, stop, pause the video, look at the problem, um, see if you can go over it. Let's go one more really quick, okay? This next one we have, and if we look at this one, um, if we just want to estimate it, this 400 will go into that 900. It's going to go into there about twice. So our answer is going to be around 20. Okay, so we can just go ahead again. We put 433 out front. When we're dividing by, it goes out front. And the number we are dividing, which is the number out front, goes inside. Uh, this is going to go in there two times. And I can just double that, so that's going to be... Eight, six, six. Track that down. We're going to end up with that would be a, um, sorry, two. Um, file from there. That would give us 12. That goes to eight. That would give us six. Then zero there. Bring the other two down. So we end up with 622. So that's only going to go in there one time. So end up with 433. Have to borrow there. So that's going to give us a 9. Um, Got to borrow there. That's going to give us 11. So that would give us 8. And then this is a 5. So we end up with 1. So we end up with 21 with a remainder of 189. The key is your remainder always has to be less than what you divided by, otherwise you can go into it one more time. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Good luck with these. <laughs> Again, you can also use the videos that Khan makes and click on the hints if you get one wrong and go through those. Follow along and make sure you learn how to do these. Good luck, have a good day, bye.